Today I'm going to show you how we hung this shiplap wallpaper and let you know why we would never ever do this again. Today I want to give a special thanks to Autosource, our sponsor. If you want to save 30% on your next vehicle, check out Autosource. There will be a link in the description below. It was time to get my three-year-old a big boy bed, so we decided we might as well um, just redo their room at the same time. So I got these white beds for them. Um, we took down all of the decor off the walls and got it ready and prepped to hang this vinyl wallpaper. I found this vinyl wallpaper just at my local Target. I actually got it on sale and it ended up being, I think, $30 per roll. We needed three rolls to complete the one wall in my boys' room. Just some helpful hints, you're going to need a squeegee, um, tape measure, scissors, an X-Acto knife is super helpful to just cut the paper when it's up on the edges. Most of all, you're going to need someone to help you with this project. This is for sure not a one person project. <laughs> I think it's super cute that I'm like happy here before I started anything. But first of all, you need to measure your walls and then cut the paper according to the length of the walls. Then what I recommend is to just take a little bit of the backing off, not very much, and squeegee as you go. This is about as far as we made it with filming because it just became so frustrating to work with this product. We had to redo it many, many times to line up the lines perfectly and there just was so many lumps and bumps. So about five million days later, we finally got the wall completed. And I'm not exaggerating, it really took so many days and like getting the motivation to come back to the project was really hard because it was such a hard product to work with. But the end results, I think, are really, really beautiful. And you can barely tell that it is just wallpaper. With this project, there were many times that my husband and I were like, why are we doing this? We should just go get some real wood and nail it into the walls and paint it. But the end result did turn out really nice. And I guess I would recommend this to someone who maybe doesn't own a home, maybe someone who's renting. They can just put this up on their walls and then when they have to move or whatever, it's an easy, easy thing to take down. So if you're wanting to do this project, I recommend that you find a lot of time and have a lot of patience. And if you're a homeowner and don't mind nailing something into your wall, I recommend putting up real shiplap. I wanted to make my boys' room very clean looking and very masculine at the same time, and I found these really awesome sheets from Target from the Heart and Hand Collection by Joanne Gaines. I just want to give a shout out. They are such high quality sheets and I love the bold stripe. I just think it really ties their room together so, so nicely. When I made the boys beds, I placed the flat sheet right side down so that when I finally put the bed together completely, I could fold over the very top of the sheet and the bold stripe will show. I found these solid gray duvet covers just at Ikea and I looked around everywhere for the best price and these were priced so well and the fabric is such high quality and it matches the hearth and hand sheets so beautifully. and final touches were the throw pillows I put on the beds. The final pillow, so most of the pillows went with the duvet and the sheet sets and then the last velvet pillow I actually found at Ikea as well and I love the added texture it gives to the room and the added feel of coziness that it gives to the room as well. So anyway, that is a little bit about this vinyl wallpaper and how I don't recommend doing it, but in the end it really did turn out beautiful and I'm happy with the results. 
Thanks for stopping by. If you like what you've seen today, like and subscribe.